the, the classic supplements, I, I have a bit of a negative reaction, to be honest. Are there any other sources that you would recommend apart from kind of cod liver oil or, or kind of fish oils? Yeah, um, yeah, certainly there's there's krill, things like that. But yeah, if it, now do you have a poor response to all of the, the various polyunsaturates or not? Um, it, so polyunsaturates, things like olive oil as well, yeah? Well, what happens if you eat salmon? Do oh, you have, if you if you eat you know fatty fish, um, get in, in you know all sorts of other sources of omega threes. I happen to like chia seeds myself. Oh yeah, um, yeah. And, yeah, the great great way to get now the, those are shorter chains, of course, uh, and your body does not ha- does not convert all of them into the longer chains. But an, another wonderful way to go, uh, and in fact, you know chia seed pudding, you can make it so that it has very very little. Uh, carb in there and uh, you know simple carb um, you know no uh, no added simple carb and make it so it's it's fantastic for uh, fiber it's fantastic for omega threes it's fantastic as a source of zinc uh, great stuff um, uh, and of course again fiber something that people have kind of underappreciated over the years yeah. how incredibly important it is one of the really interesting points uh, made by Paul Clayton is that if you look at what's happened uh, with our diets, we are probably producing something like an order of magnitude lower of butyrate, which is critical coming from your gut microbiome, than we should be and than we used to because of our current diet. So uh, in fact, so have you had any any problem with things like chia seeds or with things like salmon? No, things no like I, that? I love a bit of chia seeds. I don't eat that much salmon anymore simply because fish is normally very high histamine, um, but I could yeah. certainly give it a go again. Um, the, 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 I'm basing it really on the omega-3 supplements that I've tried, which is a kind yeah. of cod liver yeah. oil one and a, and a uh, algae one as well. Um, but I could certainly do plenty of chia seed pudding. And the other thing that I got recommended was there is a company now that makes patches that you could put on your skin and you absorb transdermally the supplement. So I wonder if, if it's not going into the gut, if I would absorb it kind of better and more effectively. It's possible. Yeah. And it's yeah. also possible that, you know, with changes in your microbiome, you may be less intolerant. So that would be another yeah. possibility. Um, but yeah, so I would certainly, certainly try those. And then the other point is that there are, as you know, there are different preparations of omega threes. Um, so you might consider something like, uh, you know, something like a krill oil, something like that. Uh, and certainly Rhonda Patrick has written a paper, uh, about the, you know, the different, uh, different formulations, uh, of the, uh, of omega threes. And she believes that, that certain that, you know, that, that the one of formulation is more critical for people, uh, with ApoE4. So that's another thing to think about. Oh, interesting. 